Okay, so what do you think is your my, main... Um, I know I lift my whole head out to breathe still, yeah. okay. and I know my arms don't pull the water when I do a stroke, and I know yeah. my arms, uh, one isn't out in front when I breathe, Okay. and my yeah. kicking's probably still not very good. Okay, yeah. But I think it's slowed down a bit. I don't know if that's good though. Yes, it has slowed down a bit. Because it feels a bit easier now. Yes, okay. The reason that you kick a lot is because you don't have much propulsion. So your your body's doing what it naturally thinks it needs to do to get you to go forwards through the water. Um, you imagine if you didn't use your arms at all, then you'd be kicking like, kicking yeah. like mad. Um, so the fact that you're, leg, you're able to switch off your legs a little bit tells me that you've started to improve your catch and your pull through a little bit. Um, Not um, intentionally, like I don't put any thought into my arms, uh -huh. so if they are getting better it's not because I'm thinking yeah. about them. Yeah. The yeah. Well again we'll have a look at your stroke rate because your stroke rate is down at 50, uh, 50 strokes a minute yeah. and it, it would be much more, it would improve um, your swimming, you've had more rhythm and a bit more stroke, um, higher cadence to it. Yeah. So we'll experiment with that and probably take it up between 55 and 60. Does that effectively just mean faster? Yeah. Because I don't go as fast because I think I won't make it to the end and then I'll have to stop so I purposefully go slower. Yeah, but if you think the reason, one of the reasons you're, one of the reasons you have to lift your head is because you have, you're not going through the water enough to lift you up in the water. Yeah. So. If you gain a little bit of extra propulsion, you won't have to you won't have to lift your head so high, which means your legs won't sink, which means you'll go through the water even quicker again. It's all kind of linked together. So we'll have a look through it and see. Do you think you hold your breath? Um well, I know I breathe, but maybe I leave it to the end, like you said, and don't mm -hmm. realise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's have a look at your head position. Okay. Very similar to you, Mom. Very similar. Lifting your head. Looks like you're laughing. Oh. Panic. <laughs> okay, so that's very similar. You've got the same kind of amount of head out of the water. Um, did you see that Facebook post they put on for um, Victoria, Vicky, the other day? Oh, yes. She, yeah. she always kind of lifts her head up. And she almost kind of looks backwards as well. <laughs> it's, the same, it's the same thing. Get the head down. Yeah. In actual fact, you don't need to lift it that high because you've got all that space there. <laughs> it's just, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> you naturally think you need to lift it up. Yeah. Um, when in reality, you could probably be a couple of inches lower there. Yeah. I suppose um, the head doesn't have to come up, just the mouth, really. It's and that's why we talk about Popeye breathing. Kind of over to one side, you literally push your mouth over to one side, and that allows you to keep your head down lower. So, um, I'll show you. Uh, oops. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> so, we talk about Popeye breathing. But this is this is Paul Newsom from Swim Smooth, and one goggle in the water, one goggle out. You can see there's his lead arm for the support. He's putting his mouth over to one side, and if you keep your head low, we end up with this bow wave here forming. Okay, the bow wave actually creates it comes up high at the front, and it actually creates a little pot, a little trough here for you to breathe in. It naturally happens like that. So keeping your head down creates this bow wave, which actually gives you some more space. Yeah. So keeping your head down actually gives you more time to breathe. If you lift your head up, it wipes out the bow wave each time. So it really does pay to keep that head down low. There he goes, he's got his mouth right over to one side, and then back in. So you try and keep your head still as much as possible. If I show you, um, you look at this chap swimming normally. Let's try and find a if you look at his head. Imagine you're balancing something on the top of his head. And it almost doesn't move. 
So that's the way your head should be. Your body should be rotating around, around the central point. And your head virtually shouldn't move. Easy second duck course, but that's what we're aiming for. So, and now you can see, similar to your mom, and that's what I say, your kind of strokes look different, but there's a lot of similarities in there, and I think we'll be doing a lot of the both, what we basically can take you both through the same kind of process today, is that we don't have the support here. So if we have a look from above, there we go. This is your number one issue. I can't, I can't work out how to leave it there. Like it comes back by itself. I don't know how you're meant to make it stay there while you breathe. I think I'm just taking too long breathing and it's just gone. Yeah, well, that's part of it. That's part of it. You're spending so long breathing yeah. that the arm is gone. Mm. If you look at, again, if you look at, if you look at uh, this guy, John Evan Hazel, breathe bang. Look how quickly his breath is. Looking up from above. Breathe. A minute. Breathe. Back in. It's a quick breath. Yeah. If he was to spend another half a second on his side, that arm would be underneath. Mm. And that's all related to you lifting your head up and down. Yeah. You're spending too long there. That will improve if we get more rhythm to your stroke, yeah. more rhythm, um, so again, the stroke rate. So, we're lifting our head up, we're letting our lead arm drop, so same as your mom, kicking on the side, getting used to kicking on the side, turning to breathe, but leaving that arm there, yeah. swimming with the baton. You have to have one arm at the front, yeah. swimming with the baton at the front. So we'll be doing some of that. And the beauty of the beauty of me doing this with you, kind of one on one almost, is that I can watch you do it and really spend some time to make sure you get the drill right. Sometimes in the squad, people do the drills, and it's very difficult to give constructive feedback on people when there's 15 people in the squad. Um, it's important that drills are done correctly, otherwise you're, you're training yourself to do something wrong. Or to, He's an army. He's an army. Look at swim types. <laughs> I just I think it really mine's not quite that splashy. Yeah. yeah. Muscle. Muscling as well. Mm. Um, uh, right, so let's get rid of that. Now, this is your this is your other issue. The depth of your legs here. Yeah. This is what's causing you to slow down. All this is frontal area causing drag. Okay, so we've got a combination of a lot of drag and not much propulsion because of the quality of the catch and pull through and because of this low stroke rate. So, in fact, while we're here, we'll have a look at this breath. So we're breathing, we're breathing out you through your nose there. That's right. That's fine. I think I always yeah, do that. A bit going out. Is, that yeah. is that not normal? No, yeah, it's wherever's comfortable, it's fine. Yeah, I can see bubbles coming out there. We'll have a look on the way back as well. <laughs> I am pretty sure I breathe. I just now you've mentioned it, maybe I don't know if I leave a bit to the look. end. There we go, look. Watch. All that luck. So I do do it. Yeah. So you're the same as your mom again. Very often you can see a lot of family similarities in the way people swim. Um I love that luggage. Yeah. You can't blame me though, I didn't teach you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs> Not with swimming. So you're trickling it out, trickling it out, and then going bang at the end. Yeah. Just in time. So at the end of your breath, what you're doing is you're having to go, <gasps> Yeah. You're breathing out and in in quite a short space of time, which is why you're feeling you're having to leave your head there because you just finished breathing out. Yeah. Now you've got to breathe in. And again, that's something which we need to try and correct. So, lack of support, which we've already discussed. The legs are down low because the head's up high. Straight though. What, the legs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Points, toes are pointed. <laughs> Positives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the legs, we need to get those legs up. And that's head up, holding the breath, and then the lack of support at the front end. Yeah. So it's a combination of things causing these to drop down. 
for both of you, that's what we need to do to get you to go straight, get you, get you to go quicker, is to get the legs up. You don't have to have a perfect stroke to get your legs up. And that's why you both love it with flippers and poor boys and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> So, very similar strokes, very similar strokes. Let's have a look through all the way back. I'm not too concerned about the recovering things at the moment. The main thing for me is to get this, get your head sorted out, get your legs sorted out. We can sort out the quality of other things in this stroke further down the line. Do some kick, a little bit of kick work as well. Yeah, let's have a look at you from above. My arms were starting to press over towards the end. I could feel them coming mm -hmm. into the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there we go, look. So it's almost one stage on from your mom. So. Whereas your arm, Karen, would probably be kind of here at this point, a little bit further forward. Yours are even further back, and that's caused by the time it's taking you to breathe. Let's see if you've got that catch up thing as well. So that looks all right that side. So turning to breathe, the arms gone from underneath of you. And the recovery over the top. I'm not too worried about the recovery at the moment. Okay. And that's pretty much covered everything there, really. Flat hands. Yeah, yeah. Again, I'm not too concerned about that. A lot of these things will the sort themselves out. Flat hands. That's what you mean the way your hand is? Or oh, it's arm. Yeah. That was all just a big break down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, it's the same on, on both. That one sweeps in here a little bit. Okay. Okay, I think there's pretty much everything we need to cover. So we'll start off by doing some sink downs with you. Okay. Then I'm going to get you to do some normal lengths with your fins, just practicing on a nice exhalation and get your head down. Practicing keeping your head down while you do that. And then we'll kind of move on from there as we go. All right. Any questions or anything? Mm, no, not the minute. Okay, all right. <laughs> I can play it by ear. Yeah. 